All right, our next entry is Brain from Pittsburgh. So it's remarkable this year we actually have three entries from three universities in the United States. This doesn't usually happen, so I'm, I'm really pleased for that. And the child, crowd always cheers the one well, for which I'm thankful. They were here last night practicing. I think you guys came after I left. So, uh, yeah, that's great. So there's one gentleman that designs the uh, maze for the APEC contest. His name is Gerardo Molina. He was a student of mine at one point, and he worked on mine, so he has a good idea about designing mazes. But it's fairly hard to design a maze for APEC because they have a wide range of uh, participants. Some of their entries are very fast, and so you'd like to have a long maze so that the difference in times is something that you can actually measure. Uh, if you have a lot of beginner entries, the long maze becomes a serious problem for trying to get to the middle. This one's doing excellent. But it's always bad to say that because it's usually a curse. If you looked at this maze design, you'd notice that there's sort of two major paths to go. And, and the two paths sort of start at the beginning. Now, when you're at the start square or near it, you don't really have any idea whether you should go left or right at your first choice. And, and it's always a shame if that makes a big difference in the time it takes to search the maze. So in this particular case, you can see that whether you go left or right is pretty much the same. You're going to have to go to that corner and come in. And so they try to balance it. Excellent. Okay, 111.9 seconds. So, so if it's balanced, it doesn't matter so much what you do at the very first choice. Uh, after that, it's more difficult to balance it. So did it remember what was in the first run? It did. Okay. So there's always a question, if it crashes, whether you want it to remember the data that it's already collected or whether you want it to forget. So in this particular case, they've elected to let it remember. Different people have different strategies for how to deal with that. Sometimes they uh, erase the last pieces of information that they reported in case they were here. So at this point, it's confused. So we're going to let them start it again. Uh, okay, third run. Contessa gets five tries, so that means you leave the start square five times, and you get or seven minutes, whichever is first. So they still have about three minutes left, a little bit more.
my entry, then I'd wonder whether it's all wall in front of me, and that's why I turned around, or just decided that the roof was too far. You, you guys postulate? It's still mapping, okay. So they think it just decided to turn around on its own. Right, that's right, right. Often if you ask people that build mice what their mouse is thinking, they have no idea. So, so don't be surprised. Thank you very much. So let's see, what was the best?